France are a team on the cusp. On the verge of progressing to the knockout stages, all they need here is a point. A mission which you would certainly consider to be well within them. Their supporters certainly believe that, they're out in great force. And are they to get their wish? Well, one suspects strongly that they will. Optimism pervades the place. Here's a venue this which simply adds to the spectacle of the game it stages. One of the most impressive arenas in this part of the world. We stand for the national anthem of France. They have thrown down the gauntlet with that anthem. Now to match it. France looking to finish the job here and to do so with appropriate style, Jim. To be perfectly honest, Peter, it would be a big surprise for them to slip up at this stage and not qualify now. Thinking about a point is potentially much more problematical than going after three. We've seen many a team do that, and before you know it, they're getting it wrong. If they're true to themselves, I'm ready to back their chances. There's the whistle, and here we go. So, Jim, tell me this, who are you looking for in particular here? Yeah, Samuel Mtiti. He's a very fine defender, of course, but it's what he contributes offensively that I find very impressive, Peter. When he plays in his face... It's Cristiano Ronaldo! Oh, what a wonderful stop! The keeper really dug out his defence then, a magnificent effort. But tries to clear. Good running with the ball. Can they build on it? And he's on his way. Tries a shot. What a wonderful goal. It's hardly a surprise, is it? That's what we're here for. A player with this wonderful knack of being able to show up and deliver at important times. Yet... Yet another example. Oh, my goodness, that has ripped the rigging. Well, the technique generates the power in that situation, and once power is assured, any goalkeeper's up against it. France take the lead, landing the first significant blow in what is certainly a significant contest. Well, look, you've got to start your qualification process at some stage, Peter, and, and that goal is takeoff for them. More than happy to take the muscular approach. Mbappe! And it's been intercepted, and that will come to nothing. A 
Mbappe. Oh, sweet feet. Over it comes. Last ditch defending, but that'll do. And it's Griezmann. Shot a goal! And yes, it's there! And they're at it again in double quick time. And that's it. That was always inevitable. France take a two-goal lead, and things should be comfortable from here on in. That second goal has such a, a polarising effect on prospective moods. I mean, one team are under more pressure now to get the next goal, and the other will fancy their chances of turning two into three. Mario Rui. Portugal can't make any sort of inroad despite all this possession. Just to point out, Peter, that the fullbacks are quite high. And what do they try to achieve? Well, it's obviously a move to push um, the opposition wide men back and, and give them more to think about. Giroud goes on a charge down the left. Got a throw in. It has gone through. Oh, shooting chance! And the keeper barely had to move. Well, I suppose it wasn't the worst attempt if you consider how far out he was. Watch it. Shiru! And for a moment, time stood still. You lucky boy. You lucky, lucky boy. Giving the ball away like that is usually punished. Bruno Fernandes. And no, that is pretty much the end of that. Well played, he saw that coming. Griezmann goes for goal! Yes! And already they're looking to run away with it. France are really pouncing on any straight passes in midfield. We're talking seconds from interception to the back of the net. It's counter-attacking heaven. Three without reply. This is becoming a stroll. Portugal going about it patiently, perhaps too patiently. Mario Rui. He came in hard, very hard. And that's clear cut. It's a free kick. Pogba is being told in no uncertain terms that this will be his final warning. Well, I think the referee would have told him to rein it in or, or suffer the consequences. And they've reached half-time. Well, there's plenty that can be said about the last 45 minutes, but one thing that cannot be said is that it's dull. One-sided, yes, but packed with excitement. Peter, do I really need to say anything, or can I simply refer you to the scoreline? France clean it up at the break, precisely as they would have dreamt it. So, just 45 minutes to decide the fate of this group. Matuidi. Well, it did look promising to start with, but in the end they were thwarted before they could even make it into the final third. Portugal have a free kick. Jota. He wasn't very far from making something happen by himself. Lovely to see. Now it's Griezmann. Mbappe has a pop! 
cleared away. Shapes to shoot! That is a class save, he had to be at his best. Well, I think a little eagerness just got the better of him. He may have been thinking about back page headlines there. Throws in his head. He will be livid with himself. It's Bernardo Silva. Look at the defender bombing forward. And that should be the keepers. Griezmann. Good challenge, he just stood firm. Matuidi. Griezmann is being picked on here. Yeah, and they finally reacted, but they could have been more switched on before he, he scored. Giroud. And the assistant referee rightly gives him offside. So here comes the substitution. Well, you have to feel a little for the player being taken off here. I think he's been made the scapegoat after that, but I guess something had to be done. I suppose it did need a little change. Keeper's got good distance on that. Mbappe. Now it's Griezmann. Mbappe! Keeper is right behind it. Ricardo Pereira. Ricardo Pereira drives it forward. Hernandez. A Tweedy able to come up with a better ball. Now, Peter, his body shape was a giveaway before he made the pass, and its obviousness was, was appreciated. It's wrestled off the ball. It's Matuidi. Bernardo Silva. William Carvalho gets it back. Ricardo Pereira switches it towards the other side. Jota. Pogba. Pepe does well there, alert. Bruno Fernandes. And here's Cristiano Ronaldo. And the referee brings it to a close. France have booked their berth in the knockout stage. What a prospect for them. A job really well done so far. And in the end, they have strolled through comfortably. Unbeaten, seven points from nine. And they are gathering momentum into the knockout stage. Well, how will we look back on that? It's certainly doing it the hard way, Peter, but the most important thing is that the team got the job done. Getting through is all that mattered, and whatever tests came their way, they showed they were more than capable of dealing with it, an experience that could benefit them all.
in the longer term.